Welcome to BizJet TV. My name is Fabrizio Poli. Today we're going to be talking about front or aft galley on your private jet, which is the best option. Talk about the pros and cons of both. Shout out to Paramel, one of our fans who suggested that we do this video about front and aft galley. Now, uh, most manufacturers in the private jet sector uh, actually put the galley at the, the front. Uh, in the, well, it's called the forward galley. And the reason they do that is because um, most private jets that have you know, a galley do actually operate with a flight attendant. And so that way they keep the, all the crew at the front, passengers at the back. Um, the flight attendant can then prepare uh, dinner for the passengers, but also for the crew uh, and can work everything from the front of, of, of the airplane. Also, if there's any emergencies or whatever, it's easy for the pilots to communicate with the flight attendant to then sort the passengers out in the back. Um, and so that's why uh, most people prefer the forward galley. But there are advantages in having the aft galley and Gulfstream are uh, the manufacturer that does make their airplanes with an aft galley. It's an option. You can have front or, or, or back, even though recently with the G650, uh, they are making most of the galleys at the front. Uh, you do find quite a few G550s with an aft galley. Now, why is it that they build these Gulfstreams with an aft galley? Well, some people don't fly with a flight attendant. So um, you've got people that, you know, like to prepare their own food. So if the galley is at the back, they're away from the crew. They, they do their own cooking. They prepare the food for, for the rest of the passengers and, and, and off they go. Also, a lot of U.S. government contracts, the FBI in particular, they only want an aeroplane to lease with an aft galley. Now, I guess the FBI agents like doing their cooking on the aeroplane. So they, they want everything happening in the aft galley. The other advantage, some people say, um, with the aft galley is that uh, you'll see the way these aircraft are configured is the dining area of the aircraft is at the back okay so you have most of your passengers at the front having their meetings lounging around at the front of the airplane while the flight attendant is at the back preparing the food uh, laying the table getting everything set up for dinner and then she comes to the front and she says to the passengers dinner's ready and they move to the aft of the aircraft where they have their dinner so this is a, another reason why uh, people have the aft galley. Now, which is best? Uh, that really does depend on you. Are you flying with a flight attendant or not? Um, bear in mind, though, that if you do have an aft galley and the crew need any food uh, or drink and that, they're going to have to be go you know, getting up from their seat in the cockpit and going all the way to the back of the airplane. And if you do have a flight attendant, she or he will be moving back and forth to feed the crew uh, through the cabin. And this may be uh, something that certain passengers don't like. Also, if you want your aircraft configured where you have a, um, a sleeping area uh, at the back, uh, where you have one of the toilets, you usually have two toilets on the aircraft. You have one at the front and one at the back. One at the front is used by the crew. The one at the back is going to be used by the passengers. So you have an area where you close the, the cabin off at the back and you can turn that into a bed. And so you've got a, an area at the back where the principal can sleep in total privacy with their bathroom there. Uh, some of these aircraft do have a shower as well. So you know, they'll just shut th shut that door uh, when they go to bed and and the rest of the airplane will be separated from, from the aft side uh, of the aircraft. Now, of course, if you've got a, a galley in the aft, you can't do that. Uh, so again, a lot of it depends on what you use the aircraft for. Of course, in the case of the FBI, uh, they're not flying international. So, uh, you know, most of their flights are happening during the day. So even if they have to sleep, you can always put the jet beds on, on in the front part of the cabin and make up you know four or five beds for um, the passengers at the front to sleep um, you know single beds and that you wouldn't have that that, that bedding area at the back so you know th there's this reasons why aft and front galley it, it really does depend on your circumstance what you prefer but let's get the conversation going uh, what's been your experience with a forward galley or an aft galley um, let's get the conversation going below here in the commentary section here of this video and if you haven't subscribed to Bizjet TV I encourage you to subscribe to this channel and um, check these other videos out here on private jets on interiors and that I did a great interview with JP Alfano about interiors of private jets you want to check that out uh, JP is a great designer and uh, offers some great insight onto the design of the interior of your private jet and if I haven't done so already I just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and that's all from Fabrizio Poli on this video and I'll catch you on the next one